I need everybody to do their best to stay calm. This is breaking news. This isn't a hoax. This isn't a drill. Mutants have come to Minecraft. And while I know you guys want to panic, there are four things we need to do. We need to leave a like on the video. We need to drop a comment down below. We need to subscribe if we haven't already. And we need to armor up. And you know it's serious when I go straight for the Neverite. But we're gonna have to find these mutants. We're gonna have to study them. We're gonna have to fight them. And hopefully, we're gonna have to kill them. We're gonna be using the brand new Mutants add-on by Tsunami Studios, which currently costs 830 mine tokens, which is equivalent to three pound and 99 pence in my local currency. It says, behold the glory and terror of mutants. The epic add-on will spawn a host of deadly mutant mobs in your world, bent on making your survival experience the more life-threatening. There's apparently a new boss, there's custom crafting, and there's tons of mutants. This makes survival quite challenging. Let's get into it. In case this is the first time you've seen an add-on or the first time you've seen a video of mine on add-ons, to activate the add-on, you wanna to go to the world you wanna use it in, go into the settings, go down to behavior packs, go to my packs, find the one you wanna use. So in this case, we're using the mutants add-on. You wanna activate it. It's gonna tell you that your world may behave in, this, in a different way and that you won't be able to earn achievements. You wanna press okay and then you want to press play so the way this video is going to work we're gonna spawn one of each of the mutants there looks like there's about 13 mutants in total ranging from what should be passive to what should be a boss so we're gonna spawn them in we're gonna check them out then i'm gonna set it to survival and i'm gonna see if i can defeat them one on one so to start with we've got a mutant chicken doesn't sound too dreadful to be honest with you i mean how can a chicken be bad right so we're gonna check it out we're just gonna put it in whoa okay that 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 that's a that's a big chicken that is a that is a very very big chicken i wasn't expecting that and oh he's gone straight into the ocean okay so i wonder what happens if i turn this into survival mode so we're into survival mode now. Oh, and he seen me. Oh my lord, he spat fire at me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so this guy is definitely against us. We've got no health. We've got no fire resistance. I mean, he's helped us by putting himself in the ocean there, to be honest. Oh my lord, he's... Can you just die? How about that? I'm on fire. Yo, I'm near water. I'm near water. We need to... Can we kill him? Okay, stay in the water. All right, this is definitely a cheesy strap, but if he's firing things at me... Okay, so he doesn't have much health. What's an egg of destruction? He just dropped an egg of destruction. What does that do? Whoa! He wasn't breathing fire. He was farting eggs at me. Okay. But we're, 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 we beat one of them. So as the world tries to recover from what just happened, we're not going to slow down. We have now a mutant wolf. Oh my good lord. Okay. This is the type of dog I crossed the road to avoid right here. Um, I have no idea what his secret power is. Look how massive he is compared to the... You know what? Is there a sheep? So wolves normally attack sheep, right? And then they normally leave everything behind. Oh my lord, there's a there's a baby sheep. Um, okay, just, just don't eat the baby. Do you care about these sheeps? I'm going to just put them there. He doesn't seem to be too bothered with them. He's following. No, he's not. All right. So this mutant, this mutant wolf has no intention of killing the sheep for me and bringing me food. So it looks like we're going to have to fight him. So I've given myself a bit of space and we're going to slowly approach this wolf. He's, something is exciting him. Okay. Oh, he's seen me. He has seen me now. What is it? Oh, he's got like super speed. Nope. Nope. Get back. Yeah, squirrel for me, dog. All right. He was easy. What did he drop? A mutant wolf pelt. I don't know what that does. That must be for crafting. Okay. Two for two. We're unstoppable. 
So with the mutant wolf destroyed and no evidence left of him, we now have a mutant frog. I, I mean, I don't even know what to expect, right? How do you make a frog dangerous? By making him that big. What the? Oh, he cares about the sheep. He cares about the sheep. He's going for sheep. Oh, he went straight for the baby. Oh my lord. Okay, so he cares about killing passive mobs. The wolf didn't. So he doesn't seem to care about the tortoises, which means once again, it's going to have to be me that fights him. Can we go free for free? All right, we don't need as much of a gap this time, but he has seen us straight away. I need to get to my son. Look at this guy jumping. All right, so first things first. We need to hide behind a tree or something. Can he go through the trees? No, okay. He can't get me through the tree. What about his tongue attack? Oh, his tongue attack can. Oh, oh my lord, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. That tongue attack went through the trees, man. He's going over the trees. Oh my good lord. This is some open space. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I need to heal up. I wasn't expecting that. And I saw him hit the sheep as well. Why wouldn't I expect it? All right, I think we have to get in close. Close and fast. Where is he? Where is he? Okay, he's been distracted. This is our time. This is our moment. And this is my moment. I need you to die. I need you to die. I need you to die. This guy's got health. He's going to kill me. He's going to kill me. Oh, no. Okay, so unfortunately, we lost to the frog. That's not what you want to see, to be honest with you. Wait a minute. Where did he come? Oh, oh my lord. A mutant chicken has just spawned in. Okay. Um... And he seems to have gone into passive mode. All right. Well, that's one victory for the frog, I'm afraid. How far was he from death? Not far, in honesty. Okay, so we've suffered our first loss. That's fine. Sometimes you're going to lose. Sometimes you're going to lose. The only thing left from this first batch is a mutant iron golem. Now, iron golems are supposed to be friendly. Oh, my good lord. This guy has merged with a furnace um are we friends it would be really nice for us to be friends are we friends hi how are you you okay he doesn't bother me he's all right with me all right so we are friends so then let's see what happens if the iron golem takes on the only mutant to beat me so far the frog here we go one iron golem versus one frog look at where's he gone Oh my good lord. How's he getting that kind of... Did he do that to me? Look at that jump. The iron golem is firm in it though. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that jump right there. It's making the fight long because he's jumping up so high. Is it because he's jumping off of the golem's head? What is going on here? Oh, he killed him. I was waiting for him to come back down. He killed him. So the iron golem is stronger than the frog. Let's get the next batch. Okay, so one that I didn't realize, but we should have probably done, is going to be a mutant squid. Ugh. It actually looks kind of nice, you know. But is he an enemy? This would be a really difficult one to fight. We're going to find out. So game mode survival. Are you an enemy? He's an enemy. He farts at you. He definitely farts at you. Where'd he go? Did I kill him? Where did he go? I killed it. That was easy. A mutant ink sack. So wait, he just dies that quick. So he fires. Okay, so he hits you. It's not a fart. Okay. But then you hit him once. He doesn't die. Hit him twice. He does die. Okay. Well, that was easy. Why couldn't I fight him before the frog? But now we come to a batch of hostile mobs. We have a skeleton, a creeper, and a zombie. So let's start with the zombie. Look at the size of that guy. Oh, immediately he's going for the iron golem. What the hell? Okay. You know what? This would look amazing in biohazard, you know. 
just thinking about it. Look at... Alright, so the Iron Golem's not too interested in him, which means this is going to have to be a fight that I take, I guess. Look at the size of this guy. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. If the Iron Golem's not going to fight him, if the sun's not going to burn him, I'm going to take him out. I don't know what that is that he's just done there. How many hit points does this guy have? He doesn't hit hard. Whatever that is, though, it hurts. Like, it's just constant. Okay, he can take a hit. He can take a hit. We should be able to kill him, though, because it's not hurting a lot. Yeah, that was all right. That ground attack was more of an annoyance than anything else. But it was all right. And as the Iron Golem has disappeared under the ocean to be absolutely no help, and as the moon starts to rise, let's get ourselves a mutant skeleton. Oh, wow. Look at that. The artwork is so good. He's got crossbows on his wrist. He's got crossbows on his wrists. I hope you guys can see that. And we're going to have to fight him as well. We're four and one. I'm not scared. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, my God. He's got rapid fire. Oh, you're calling in a spider for help. Oh, man. You're going to kill me. You're going to kill me. Oh, he is slapping. No, we killed him. We killed him. We killed him. I don't want to die to the spider. We killed him. Oh. He was slapping. I nearly died there, man. Wow. Okay. Let's get let's get rid of these mobs and let's make it a fair fight for the creeper. Okay, so the field is set. We have a mutant creeper now. I don't know if these tortoises are safe. Is it a tortoise or a turtle? It's a sea turtle. Why do I keep calling it a tortoise? I don't know if they're safe either way. Whoa. He looks like a Doctor Who villain. Um... I, I don't 100% know how to fight this guy. We don't have an iron god. He's gone as well. Oh, my Lord. Okay. Well, I think we're, what's that? Four and one, are we? Five and one? I don't know. But I think we're going to have to fight this guy too. Oh, I have no health. I have no health. This is not a fair fight. This is not a fair fight. Okay, so we're just going to drink these quick instant healths to get us up to full health. And now we're going to fight this guy. Here we go. Oh, look. Um, what is, what's his attack? What is his attack? He's not exploding. He's waiting. What are you waiting for, buddy? Step out into the open. What does he want to do? He doesn't want to do anything at this point. This is fine. This is good. This is all right. We're safe. We're going to go up to him. We're going to hit him. Oh, he fires TNT. Okay. Okay. You have to get quite close, it seems, for him to fire TNT. But then once you do... Oh, wow. All right. Here we go. He's fired it again. Okay, good job. That TNT does not do a lot of damage. But he rapid fires TNT here as well. All right, we're going to have to just kill you, mate. I'm just going to have to kill you. I'm sorry. Luckily, none of these mutants really do too much damage. They seem to be beatable in most cases. But, man. Oh, I say that. How did I just get onto half a heart? I don't know, but we've got another batch to go. We're going to head to the Never for this batch. Okay, so we are here in the Never now. And we probably have to be careful because they're actually going to just spawn like normal. So let's start with a piglin, shall we? Have a little look at these mutant piglins. That is a big boy right there. He's got a dislocated jawline. Look at how he walks. Okay, we've got no Iron Golem to save us here either. So we're going to have to put our almost undefeated streak on the line. I'm gonna kill him straight away. Here we go. Oh lord, I don't know what he's doing. That was uh, that was like half my health. Oh wow, this guy claps. This guy claps. Good lord. Well, I think it's safe to say that I lost that battle quite considerably, and I don't really want to fight him again. In all honesty, um, I'm a little bit scared of him. So I think what we'll do, we'll just take advantage of the fact that he's on the edge. There we go. See you later, buddy. Thanks for being here. All right, so next up then, we're going to have... Well, I was going to say we're going to have ghasts, but one has just spawned here. Look at that. And this is cool, so it doesn't completely overwrite the normal mobs because a normal ghast spawned as well. I'm actually... I'm not going to fight that. I'm scared to fight that. <laughs> that leaves us with a mutant enderman left. What the hell? Look at that. He's got... 
He's got four arms. That doesn't look like there's any variation, but he's got four arms. And he's the size of a tree. Look at these guys. I said that this add-on would look good with the biohazard texture pack. I'm not playing it. Oh my lord. And I think now that's just going to leave us with one more mob before the boss. And it's the Wither Skeleton. So let's not wait around. Oh, wow. He's got two swords. I kind of want to fight him. I kind of want to fight him. You know what? In for a penny, in for a pound. We are fighting this one. We are fighting this guy. Come on, dude. My one sword against your two. Come on. Oh, he gives a withering effect as well. Okay. He's not hard to kill at all. What about this Enderman? Ghast, this is not about you. What is that? What is this? Okay, he's the size of an end. This ghast is not making this fair, you know. Oh, he throws dirt blocks at you. Come on, come on, you're gonna die. You're going to die. Oh, and now there's a now there's oh my lord. I didn't want to fight these guys. And now there's just actual ghasts. Come down here. Come down here. I can't even see. I'm gonna die. I died. Oh wow. I wasn't trying to take them on three at a time. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the wither. Oh my days. How are you supposed to fight that? Oh wow. Um, and how quickly does his bar go down? Yeah, I'm not fighting that. I'm not fighting that. No way. No way. This world is cursed. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a like. Drop a comment down below. How would you defeat that wither? I need to know. And if you're new to the channel, please do hit the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace. All right, fine. I'll fight him. He doesn't even have a health bar anymore. Oh, Lord. Uh-oh. Oh, my Lord. Um, I'm going to die to a skeleton. I'm not even going to die to a wither. Okay, we hit him. Where's he gone? He's gone into the block. Oh, my God. I've got a wither skeleton coming for me. I've got a skeleton coming for... Oh, my good Lord. I forgot about the other ones. I'm not dead, though. I'm not dead. I don't even know where he's gone. Can I treat that as a victory because he ran away from me? I think that's a victory. Peace.